Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. We'll be showing you today the Sartorius MA150 Moisture Balance. This moisture balance is extremely simple to use. It is designed and engineered in Germany. Sartorius has been building balances for over 140 years. They are the premier manufacturer of balances. This moisture balance uses a standard 90 millimeter disposable pan. When you purchase the MA150, it comes with 50 disposable pans. You can also purchase optional filter pads. The filter pads would be used for testing uh, if you're doing samples that are going to spatter. Anything that has a lot of high fat content or um, something that has um, a lot of moisture altogether, if it's going to spatter, if you look at the top of your moisture balance and in, if there's any foreign material, then you really want to consider using the filter pads. And these filter pads come 200 to a box, or you can buy 4,000 at a time. So on the MA150, this balance is built in Germany. Um, it is using a ceramic heating element. Many of the moisture balances on the market today all use halogen. One of the reasons why they use halogen is because it's cheap to manufacture. Also, the halogen bulb is going to burn out a lot quicker. So they design these moisture balances so they need service. Sartorius gives you the ceramic element with the MA150. Um, let me show you how to set up a test with this moisture analyzer. It's really simple. So the first thing you want to do is to select a program. And so to select a program is extremely easy. You want to just go right into the menu. So you have the arrows and you'll notice here we have tear program setup. So you want to press the arrow over and you want to go to setup. This particular moisture balance, you can store up to 20 test parameters. So we want to go into program, not setup, we go to program. So you can see right here, program one is set at 105 and I set up program two to run at 150. So you can actually go into the menu, you could name the program, and uh, there's alpha numeric keys so you could if you want to spend the time you could say uh, this particular moisture test is for we're going to do toothpaste so you could go into it and then for the heating you would select heating program enter and then we want standard drying and the temperature so right now we have the temperature at 150 let's change this to 155 so the one is highlighted hit enter the five is highlighted hit enter and so we have a zero here and we want to set this to 155 so we're going to hit the up arrow so now we have 155 we hit enter and then we've now stored that parameter we'll hit clear to get out and you'll notice we have program 2 at 155 so the balance resets and you'll notice at the top, we have P2, program 2. The temperature is going to run at 155C, and we're going to have it in auto mode. So to run this test, we're going to um, basically try to determine the percent moisture in toothpaste. So we have fiber pads here. The first thing you want to do, we'll be using two fiber pads, and we use one pan. So we put the fiber pads and the pan on the moisture balance and we want to tear it out. So you'll notice now to the right hand side, tear is highlighted and you want to hit enter. So you can see right now before I hit enter that the pan with the two fiber pads weigh 3.5 grams. So now the moisture balance has zeroed out or teared the value of the pans and the pads.
And so what we want to do is we're going to be using regular toothpaste. And we want to put a sample about two grams or so. So I'm going to put toothpaste. And you'll notice I want to just put it right on the pad. And now what you want to do is you want to squish and roll it. So you'll see these fiber pads. And on the fiber pads, there's a smooth side and a rough side. We want the rough side down. And we're just going to take this and we're just going to squish it around. And our goal is to increase the surface area as much as possible. So you might want to pat it. We just want to get so there's no clumps whatsoever. We want to spread it all out. And so now we take our disposable pan. You never want to reuse the pans. You always want to use new pans each time. And so you'll see now we have 3.493 grams. That's the toothpaste that we put on. And one just simply closes the door and the test is now starting to run. So you will see L, this is the percent moisture loss. And you'll see the temperature here also on the display. So we have program two, 155. Right now it's at 38 degrees C. Now using ceramic, it will take longer to heat up. But the benefit with ceramic is it's not going to overshoot. With halogen, if you set it at 155, it's probably going to go to about 170 and then pull back. So it's much more difficult to control the temperature using a halogen versus ceramic. The reason why the other manufacturers aren't using ceramic is because it's much more costlier. So some other specs on the M8150. The temperature range is from 40 to 180 degrees C and the temperature can increment in one degree Celsius. Many models on the market today the lower cost units will increment in 5 degrees C. The MA150 offers 150 grams weighing capacity with 1 milligram resolution. That will yield you 0.01%. Now if you're using a sample basically from 1 to 5 grams, your repeatability will be 0.2%. And if you use a sample size 5 grams or greater, your repeatability will increase to 0.05%. Um, we've already covered the pan. It's a standard 90 millimeter pan. For the time, we can set the time anywhere from 0.1 second, I'm sorry, 0.1 minute to 99.9 .9 minutes. And you can store up to 20 programs. Again, many other moisture balances on the market, there's just one profile. You set it up. Each time you would have to go in and configure it. With the MA150, you could store up to 20. So this test is still running. And you can see as the test runs, we're looking at the percent moisture loss. And you can see right now it's 2.2 minutes, and we're at now 152 degrees, see 153. So it does take longer. It's going to take you at least a minute to a minute and a half longer to bring it up to temperature using ceramic. But you're not going to overshoot, you're not going to burn your product. You'll be able to control the temperature much, much greater using a ceramic heating element. Um, I want to just cover a few more things the moisture balance comes with. It comes with a great manual. Um, Sartorius does a super job in all their documentation. And so when you purchase the MA150 moisture balance, you get a great manual. And in it, there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your moisture balance, run the test. So you'll see the manual is very well documented. Step-by-step, -step, step one, all the way through, how to configure it. Many moisture balances we're seeing on the market today are coming from China, and the manuals are horrible. So if you're looking for a quality moisture analyzer, you're gonna pay more but you're going to get a well-engineered product and a well-documented product on how to use the instrument. 
Again, I, I always stress, Sartorius is the best. They hold the Guinness Book of World's Record for the most accurate balance in the world. We are an authorized Sartorius dealer. Um, again, other manufacturers, you need to be careful when you purchase a moisture balance. Um, here we have the disposable pans, and we do sell these dispo disposable pans. There's 50 to a box, and you can buy 10 boxes of 500. We sell them for around $155 or so. So you never want to reuse these pans, no matter what the test is. Some people say, oh, we try to clean them off. If you try to clean them off, there's always going to be some residual there. And if you're spending thousands of dollars or a moisture analyzer, you want the correct results. So it's foolish to be reusing pans. Um, the filter pads, again, I've, I showed these, but the filter pads are really um, nice to use for any item that's going to spatter. Sometimes you could use just one. Other times you'll do two, like I showed you in this demonstration where I did a squish and roll. So this particular test is still running. And um, we can see here that we're on 23.8%. Um, and the time is up here, which is five minutes the test is running. So this particular test, we're expecting it to be about 45% uh, moisture. So we have a ways to go, but we just wanted to at least show you quickly the Sartorius MA150 Moisture Analyzer. Visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. And again, we are an authorized dealer. We have a couple of these units in stock right now. There's also, um, this is called the MA150 V1 because in the front we have glass here. There is also a V2 unit. And on the V2 unit, that unit has aluminum blanks. There's another version if the MA150 is too expensive for you. That would be the MA35. Then there's an MA100. The MA100 is solely for the plastics industry. If you plan on doing plastic, resins, PET, the MA150 will not do it. It's not accurate enough for you. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Um, we've been in business since 1995. We're at balances.com or scaleman.com.